this video I will show you how to set up Streamlabs OBS to record smooth, high quality gaming footage for your montages, commentaries, etc. What's up everyone, Yale here with the video nerd and welcome to the Streamlabs OBS Master Course. Setting up Streamlabs OBS for recording is not as difficult as setting it up for streaming. First of all, you will need to download Streamlabs OBS if you haven't already. So go to the link in the description to download Streamlabs OBS. Just download it, install it and then let's start. So right here we are in Streamlabs OBS and for those who are not familiar with the program, a really quick overview. On the left we have the scenes and they work like folders that hold the sources in the middle. Then on the right we have all the audio settings but for just recording gaming footage the audio is very easy it's just your pc audio so let's do that first click on the settings icon then go to audio and then right there as your desktop audio device one you should just select default and then your gaming sound will be imported into streamlabs obs now if you're on discord for example with your friends and you're talking to them too and you want that to be recorded then you can do that and the discord friends will automatically be recorded because they are pc audio you are hearing them so it's the audio from your pc and that's coming in into streamlabs obs through the default setting right here. The only thing that you will not be recording is you talking to them. So to do that, just select your microphone right here as your mic auxiliary device one. Right now my headset isn't connected so I can't find it, but your microphone should be right here. Okay, click on done. And before going to the actual visual settings, we will first make sure that we can see our game. So in the scenes, let's make a new scene and then just call it recording okay and then right here in the middle of the sources we will import our gaming footage so let's click on the plus icon and click on game capture and then it asks me to add a new source instead now if you don't get this option don't bother if you get this option just enable it and make a new one for now okay so let's just call it game capture okay Click on add source and then right here we get the option to capture any full screen application. Now if the game that you are recording isn't full screen or you just want to add a specific game and you do not want to capture other games accidentally for some reason, then you can just click on capture specific window and then you can choose your game right here. So I will just select Overwatch. It's not visible because I have to scroll and sometimes it's not that clear. So make sure if you don't find your game to just scroll a bit. And then right here it is Overwatch. Okay, let's click on done. And then right here I did import Overwatch. Now let's right click it right here or in the sources. It doesn't matter. Then go to transform and then click fit to screen. So right here it is, it's ready to be recorded and on the right in the mixer you can see that my desktop audio is moving because that's my gaming sound so everything is working. Now let's click on the gear icon right here to go into the settings and then first of all let's go to the video tab. Right here your base canvas resolution, here you should select the native resolution of your monitor. For me it's 1440p, maybe 1080p for you, I don't know, select your highest right here. Then as your output scaled resolution, you can choose right here. It's probably safe to just record in 1080p, but if you have a higher quality monitor with a higher resolution and you want really crisp game recordings, then you can select a higher resolution right here. I can select 1440p, but for this tutorial I'll just select 1080p because that's what most people will be using. Then as your downscale filter, just select Lanxus, no discussion about that. As your FPS type, common FPS values, and then you can choose your FPS right here and I highly recommend you to select 60 because for gaming it's much smoother and I mean 30 FPS when gaming looks really bad. So select 60 right here. Then the most important tab is the output tab. Right here you got the option streaming, recording, audio, etc. Make sure you are in the advanced mode right here on top and then click on recording. First of all you can select a recording path so just click on browse 
choose wherever you want to save it, select the map and it's okay. Then generate file name without space. This is useful in some scenarios for compatibility with certain programs etc but yeah you can just enable this then the recording format here you should select mp4 then right here you have the option to select or deselect certain audio tracks and for this i need to explain something else that's very useful so do not skip this click on done then click on the gear icon next to the mixer and right here you see all your audio sources and here you see all the channels. So right now if everything is selected, you will just have all your audio sent to all the channels. But if you want to edit your footage afterwards and you want to cut the voice or cut the gaming sound, if you want to edit them separately, you need to send them to different channels. So desktop audio is my gaming footage, so I can just deselect everything except channel 1. And then right here for my microphone, there are two that are connected, but let's say I'm using my headset microphone, which is the third one. I can just send that one to channel two. And then I'm not using this microphone high definition, so I can delete it or I can just deselect everything like this. So it will be sent to no channel. So now my gaming sound is sent to channel one and the audio from my headphones is sent to channel two. So in your editing program underneath your video, you will also see two channels one for your gaming footage, one for your voice. So that's very easy to work with. Let's close this and go back to the settings. Okay, the output tab. Then go to the recording tab again. If you have your desktop audio on one and your microphone on two, deselect everything. Because otherwise, if you're importing this into your editing program, it will add seven audio tracks on the bottom of your clip. You can just delete them, but for ease of use, you don't need the other ones, so select only the ones that are active right here. And then the next option right here is an important one. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, go for hardware and VNC new. It will be the best one in most scenarios. If you don't have the option, if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card or it's a very old one, then you can go for software x264. When selecting software x264, you are using your processor to do all the encoding of the video. If you are selecting hardware and VNC, if it's available, then your graphics card will be handling the encoding and that will be much more efficient. So since most people will be using hardware and VNC, I will be explaining that one first and afterwards I will go over the software x264 settings because they are not much different. Okay, let's scroll a bit down and then right here the rate control, we should set this to CQ. When selecting CBR, which stands for constant bitrate, you will be recording a set amount of data each second. Now this is used when streaming, so you can control the amount of data that's being sent to your stream each second. Now for recording, it doesn't matter that much, so we can choose CQP. This allows us to set a certain quality level to record in, and then the whole video will be in the exact same quality and Streamlabs OBS will adjust how much data it records each second according to how much data is needed to reach the certain quality. So when you're streaming games with little movement like board games, your data per second will be lower compared to when you would be streaming first person shooters. Now the recommended quality setting to set up right here is between 15 and 25. I advise you to select for example 17, then set up all the other settings, start your game and see if your PC can handle that. If it can't handle it, go to 18, 19, 20 because the higher you go, the lower the quality will be, the lower you go, the higher the quality will be. So let's set this to 17 and then afterwards you can adjust this. Then the next option is the keyframe interval and it's pretty complicated to explain so I will not bother you with that. You can just select zero and Streamlabs OBS will select it automatically. Then the next thing, the preset, right here you should select quality or max quality. This is pretty efficient so you probably can select max quality but if you run into performance issues you should make this higher 
and maybe set this to quality. Okay, so I will set it to max quality and then the profile, you can just set this to high. Then you disable look ahead, enable psycho visual tuning, set your GPU to zero and set your max B frames to two. Now let's click on done. And right now you have to analyze if all these settings are good for your computer, if your computer can handle it. Now to do that, click on control shift escape and then click on performance right here which is the second tab and then right here you can see your processing power and your gpu now while this window is opened just go to streamlabs obs click on record go to your game game a bit and then just alt tab out disable the recording and then just go back to here and then you can analyze how everything went how high your cpu usage was your gpu usage if your cpu usage was like 90 or 100 or you even felt lags you can go back to the settings to the output settings and then okay first go to the recording tab and then right here you can make this number higher to 20 for example and maybe set this max quality to quality and then do the same thing again till your system is stable okay a quick note i did forget to record something so i'm recording it right now for those who don't have an nvidia graphics card or the ones who have a really old card and do not have hardware nvenc then you should select software x264 right here and a few of these settings are different so the rate control you should set this to crf and this is the same as the cqp setting which we used in the hardware nvenc setting so right here it's called crf and you should also select a quality right here between 15 and 25 15 being a pretty high quality recording and 25 being a pretty low quality recording so let's just set this to 17 and i will come back to this later so then next the keyframe interval you can just leave it at zero to make it automatic then the cpu usage preset this is also a very important one now right here let's click on it and we see it goes from ultra fast to very slow and then placebo okay so the slower you go right here so the more to the bottom the higher the cpu usage will be the faster we select right here so ultra fast being the fastest option this is the lowest quality recording so i recommend you set it to very fast okay then the crf to 17 set up everything and then start your game if your game is lagging your pc can't handle it then you can make this crf setting higher to for example 20 test it again if it still doesn't work set it to very fast to super fast etc you get it play with these two settings the crf setting and the cpu usage setting you should play with these to adjust it to how strong your computer is so for me it will be something like very fast 17 right here maybe i could select faster but very fast is okay then for the profile you should select high right here the tune you should not change this and then this should also be empty now the recordings will automatically go to the folder which you selected right here in the output recording right here on this path so let's click on done and go to that folder okay and right here is the last recording which is the game so you see this was the game recording and it's pretty good so that's everything if you want more guides about setting up your stream making it better and growing as an online content creator then make sure to subscribe to the channel because this channel will be just perfect for you and if you want to engage with like-minded people you can join the discord which i will link on top of this description because i'm building up the tv and discord community everyone is friendly everyone is willing to help each other so make sure to check it out i have nothing left to say thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video have a good day